Well, it's a big idea, but one that may be very hard to implement. Last week, the Election Commission said it could hold simultaneous polls for the Lok Sabha and state assemblies from next year, an idea that's being strongly pushed by Prime Minister Modi and the BJP. But not everyone is convinced it'll work or that it is in fact good for our democracy, as Nimisha Jaiswal reports. India's elections are already the largest exercise of democracy in the world. Will simultaneous elections give more power to the people? The Election Commission may have said it's feasible, but a heated debate rages. Greater administrative efficiency and lower expenses are reasons many are giving for backing the move, one which has no political consensus yet. During every election, of late, there has been more muscle power, more violence, more money power, etc. All this can be tackled if you have simultaneous election. According to the former Chief Election Commissioner, political parties, candidates and the Election Commission may save up to 20 to 30 percent of their expenditure. The people do not have to be on election mode all the time. The government can get a free hand to focus on policy. But not everyone is convinced. The naysayers say it is unfeasible, even undemocratic and impractical as long as Article 356 remains in place. Do we know what we are discussing? We are discussing as if it's a matter of administrative convenience. Of course, lovely idea, hold it together, saves a little money. Do we realize what its implications are? Mr. Yadav points out that the tenure of each legislature under simultaneous polling will be fixed. A government which may not enjoy a majority will continue in power. Without a majority, such a government will not be able to pass a budget or even pay its employees. This means we would no longer be a parliamentary democracy. I may want stability at the national level, but I may, I'm, I may want uh, Sadak and Pani at the local level. But with opinion divided sharply, is a consensus ever possible? But what is crucial is the amendment to the constitution and parties have to accept it. So I said that if you are going to cut short the tenure of a house, the parties may not accept it. If you extend it, the opposition parties may not accept it. So you have to arrive at some kind of a consensus. Think of a date after five years. Experts are divided on the merits of simultaneous polling, but they agree that the proposition needs much more scrutiny than it is receiving right now. If the nature of India's democracy is to be changed, that scrutiny will be well warranted. This is Nimisha Jaiswal for NDTV.